Welcome back to Oral Tradition, everyone. Welcome back to the Saturday Sunday School. We really need the scriptures in this time. And there's a time for everything. And now we're going to go straight into the scriptures. Um, the word of God is very integral, especially in this time. We really need to know the word of God. The Bible says it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So let me go straight to the scriptures right now. Uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 30, verses 13 and 14. And it reads thus. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the way, and narrow is straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Hmm. So there's a choice that we have to make. <clears throat> anyway, let me go straight into our prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for another opportunity, oh God, to be before your people today, oh God, so we can expound the word of God. We pray that you have your own sweet divine way. I pray that you bless the listeners and bless me as well. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> the gateway to <coughs> eternal life is called straight narrow straight right that is how we get to god <clears throat> through that straight gate now jesus is the only way to god the word of god said in john chapter 14 verse 6 i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me God, the Father, and Jesus, they are, they are the same. Jesus is God and man simultaneously. So in order for us to get to God the Father, we have to come through Jesus. There is no other name among men whereby we must be saved but by the name of Jesus Christ. That's the only name. So if anybody tells you that there are so many ways to God. There are other ways to God other than through Jesus. That is not true. That is definitely not true. So, we really have to make a choice. Now, the, the reason why only a few will find this way is because this way, this narrow and straight way, it takes discipline it takes discipline. You have, to, you have to be disciplined. It is a holy walk. You have to walk circumspectly. You have to have integrity to be on this road. You know, God, and you, you it's, it, it, it's filled with trials. Um, it's, it, it has suffering. You need temperance on this road. You need long suffering. You know, you have you need patience because you're gonna have to you're going to have to wait. You don't just get things like that. You know, you cannot steal on this road. You know, you have to be honest, you have to have integrity on this road. So this is all the things that God will teach us while we are on this road. That is why a lot of people will not take this road. So that is why it is called narrow and straight. Mm-hmm. Simply put, all these things that I've just mentioned, th these are the things you will encounter on this road. So you won't find a lot of people come on this road because we don't want to live that way. We want to live our own lives, you know, and look on the other road now, which is the broad way that everybody is on the broad road. It is wide and broad, so everybody is going on this road. The witches are on this road, you know. The idol worshippers are on this road. The false prophets are on this road. The liars, the thieves, the whoremongers, those who worship idols are on this road, you know. 
um the hypocrites false prophets everybody are on this road the thief the con artist the fraudsters everybody walk on this road the liars you know yeah people who who are deceiving themselves and believing they are living in heaven what they're actually living in hell are on this road yes and if you notice the kind of people who are on this road so you know that could never be a good road so even though the majority are walking on the road you should know that this is not the, the, the road i should be walking on because no man i don't see any good people here i don't see any honesty here is a lot of dishonesty on this road so that's why many will go on that road because it's easier you know you can't gamble on that road but you're going on narrow road. you can't do that yes you can do that on the narrow road so life eternal god promises us that and even though it seems like it seems silly it seems like it's too easy to to come by but you you achieve that by faith in jesus christ that's how you receive eternal life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe him. And it is so simple. And that is why a lot of people cannot gravitate to it. Because it's supposed to be so sophisticated. And it's supposed to be so difficult and complicated. No. God made it simple for us. Because he loves us so much. He sent his son to die for our sins. And... It's not, a, it's not hard for us to just accept Jesus. but So you are faced with a choice today. You are faced with a choice. And I pray that you will choose the right way. The disciplined way. The godly way. The righteous way. And you will have eternal life. Yes. But if you choose the broad way. Where all the mess is going on, on you you will you you will not receive eternal life. You will in turn receive eternal damnation. So in your choices, whatever you're doing, make sure you're choosing the right way. Choose wisely. Don't choose the the, the broad road. Because many people are on that road, and you, you get lost on that road. But when you're on the narrow road, even though it's a slower road, it's not fast. It's not the fast road. It's not a highway. <laughs> you know, you're going to go through some stuff on that road. But God is there to help you to make it. So when you go to church or whatever, remember this scripture and put it under your belt. You can study it. You know, say it a few times until you know it. And before the year is over, you'll see how many scriptures you have memorized. So, until next time, with another um, Saturday Sunday School, I have to leave you. So, go over the scriptures, think about it, and see what you really want to do. If you want to travel the narrow road, or the broad road because there are consequences to our actions whichever road we choose then we we have to take the consequences okay so the lord bless you today you have a blessed day in church and i'll see you next week in another saturday sunday school edition